Once upon a future too distant to conceive, a mysterious alien race known as the Nebular discovered an isolated planet in a galaxy far, far away. It was a lush, emerald green world, rich in biodiversity but curiously devoid of any intelligent life. Their advanced technology revealed signs of a long extinct civilization, humanity. Among the countless artifacts of the past, they discovered a time capsule containing the preserved genetic material of various organisms, including humans. Intrigued, the Nebula decided to resurrect one human to learn more about this extinct species. Their choice? A man named Buppert Rutherford. Awakening in a strange environment, Buppert was initially gripped by confusion and fear. However, the nebular pacifying aura and their impeccable translation technology eased his disorientation. They explained their mission to him, to tell them about humanity, its history, its triumphs, and its flaws. Buppert wasn't a historian, a philosopher, or a world leader. He was a humble librarian from the little town of Malatya in Turkey, an ordinary man with an extraordinary love for stories. He was no figurehead, no master of the human condition. But he knew one thing for certain, every human held within them a piece of the grand human narrative. And so, he told his story. He spoke of his small town, its cobblestone streets, the laughter of children playing in the park, and the everyday struggles of ordinary people. He spoke of his job at the library, how he found joy in the magic of literature, and the beautiful human capacity for creativity and imagination. To the Nebula, the concept of fiction was unfamiliar, and they listened in awe as Buppert explained how humans could create whole worlds, characters, and stories from nothing but their minds. He spoke of humanity's resilience, their will to survive and thrive in the face of adversity, and their ability to find beauty in the simplest things. But he also didn't shy away from the darker chapters of humanity's story. He told of wars, of greed, of corruption and selfishness. Of humanity's occasional tendency to let fear and misunderstanding guide their actions. The Nebula were silent, absorbing the spectrum of human experience as told through Buppert's simple yet poignant words. Then, they asked, why, with all the conflict, would your species create and cherish fiction? Buppert thought for a moment before responding, because in stories, we found hope. In stories, we found solace. In stories, we found a shared dream of a better tomorrow. That's what kept us going. The Nebula thanked Buppert for his insights and promised to preserve his story as a testament to the human species. Buppert, in return, gifted them his most treasured possession, a well-worn copy of his favorite book. In the quiet moments that followed, the Nebula and Buppert shared a unique understanding. While the human race may have perished, its stories, dreams, and hopes lived on, echoing throughout the cosmos. And in that echo was the imprint of humanity's spirit, resounding in the heart of one ordinary man from a small town in Malatya, Turkey. The End Thanks for listening. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you very much.